For tonight's dinner, I'm making butternut squash risotto using porridge oats. And I've got some butter, some chopped shallots. Onion would work just the same, but shallots is easier when you're cooking for one. It's better, better quantity. I've got half a butternut squash, which I'm going to dice. And then I'll just fry those off, start adding new things in. Then here I've got some butter, some chopped shallots and half of the butternut squash diced up and I'm just going to put this on now to cook and soften them through. I've got some chopped garlic and a little splash of white wine. Right, next I'm adding a stock cube, chicken or vegetable works, whatever you prefer. And I'll top it up with some water that I've boiled. And now I'm going to add a few handfuls of the pinhead oats, which I'm treating just like rice. That should be enough for me. Right, that's been simmering away for about 10 minutes now. So I'm gonna put in some lime juice, just half a lime. And I'll also add in some sage, which I'm just gonna break up. And I'm just going to add in some of the Italian cheese. Parmesan or pecorino would work equally well if they're all they're all good. And that's looking about done now. And now let's see how it tastes. Oh wow. Oh that really works well. That sage and butter and that squash is lovely. That might be the nicest one pot trangia meal I've made. I like that. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of that. Possibly enjoy the rest of the wine as well. You seem to waste it. If you would like to see more trangia recipes, then please subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.